Hola Sagittarius Sun, Taurus Moons, welcome to your 2020 Sun Moon reading. When you view it is when you were meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year, and these are not the cards that I'm using for that. <laughs> I'm doing them in order of requests of the comments, so be sure to post your requests up. And while you're waiting for yours to get done, check out your 2019 Sun Moon reading, see if they rang true for you. First portion of this reading, I will go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination and lay out your main cards for 2020. We'll take a quick look at those. Second portion of this re reading will be the video link below, where I'll have a deeper interpretation of your cards with clarifiers. I'll be dividing the year up into four separate sectors. So let's see what's going on with Sagittarius Sun, Taurus Moon. All right, you guys are very aesthetic and you're very artistic. A lot of times though, you you dream about things and then they never come to fruition because you need security and you need the cash before you start anything kind of crazy. Um, so you need to have a very secure bank balance. You need to have um, a solid house in place before you kind of pursue any of that stuff. So that part of you kind of holds you back from following um, you know, anything that is non-traditional or unconventional. Um, security is really important to most people, but you can't kind of let it be the end all for you. And as a matter of fact, if you do and you don't pursue some of these things internally, you're always going to feel unsettled or like, you know, dissatisfied. So you do kind of need to have an outlet for that aesthetic and art artistic side that we kind of talked about. You have excellent perception. You have mature wisdom. You guys are visionaries. You have a huge compassion for people. Your judgment is often skewed by being too sympathetic or being too sentimental. Um, so yeah, be careful of that. And also you're a very nice person, you're very soft hearted. So that kind of goes hand in hand because you have a really hard time. If someone asks you for something, you have a really hard time saying no. You don't wanna hurt people's feelings. You don't wanna reject, reject somebody. That's like the worst thing you would ever wanna do. You're very good at business and creative pursuits like we talked about really good with money too when it comes to finances you're a very good gambler so you know when to invest you know when to spin the wheel um you're great business people great entrepreneurs you're very positive and when you know you have a kind of a setback um it doesn't really shake you up very much even though you do tend to be a pretty serious focused person most of the worries that you have are actually just your perception and it's because you have a very vivid imagination so you can kind of feed into those worries you're a very giving person you're very affectionate people love you and respect you no matter what you decide to do um, or path you decide to take in your life you're very sensual you're very down to earth and having a lot of interest in your life and being active socially is super important um, and absolutely necessary for you guys. So let's see what's going on for your 2020. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Sagittarius Sun, Taurus Moon. What do you see? What do they need to know for 2020, the year 2020? Any messages you have that can help them reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to the divine? For their greater good, it would be greatly appreciated. Sagittarius Sun, Taurus Moons for the year 2020. What do you see? What do they need to know? What do you see for January, February, March? Sagittarius Sun, Taurus Moons. We have the Moon card in the reverse. What do you see for April, May, June? Okay. And then if this resonates, of course, consider a personal reading. My email is on this page. My rates are on this page. Ace of Swords in the upright. Well, this is good. Ask me a question on Instinko. Check me out on Facebook. Check me out on Insta. So we're flipping. I'm pulling all these cards. I'm just the top one. Okay. Wow, you guys are having a stellar year. Um, also, like, share, subscribe, and or... Click the donate button below, toss me a few pennies. October, November, December for Sagittarius Sun, Taurus Moons, Page of Wands. I don't know what that's about. Um, okay, so you're starting off at the beginning of the year and you're having some sort of discoveries, internal discoveries. Um, 
about yourself. You're you're revealing some things about you. You're realizing you're you're kind of looking at how negative things or negative ways of thinking have been impacting your life and and you're doing away with that stuff. You kind of don't want it anymore. And this is internal stuff, stuff that's been holding you back, stuff that you've been repressing. Um you're seeing how it affects you and you're, you're kind of having this clarity. You're shining a light on everything, the good, bad and the ugly. Um this is the card of Pisces if that resonates for you. And in doing so, in April, May, June, you have a clear direction. So again, this is another card of clarity. This is having this mental breakthrough and knowing, feeling powerful, triumphing over probably the negative things you have, the fears you've had, this internal stuff, triumphing over it and moving forward. And now you kind of don't have anything standing in your way. You see exactly where you're going. Um, you're very confident where you're going and you're very powerful and you plan to do it. Um, I don't know if you think of this ace of swords is like pointing ahead to you know where you're going and cutting everything out it's almost cathartic in a way you know cutting out things that have been holding you back it continues on in um july august september so this trend it continues for three quarters of the year, which is great. You're realizing that a lot of things that you had, you were in your head about. Um, they were perceptions of fear. They weren't actual, actual actuality, actuality of fear. Um, and you're recovering from this and you're looking back and saying, man, look at all this stuff that I used to worry about um, that I didn't need to worry about. And remember, we kind of said that when we were going over your sun moon combination, you do have an tendency to let your imagination get the best of you and then that kind of takes you down this road of you know negativity and worrying too much and etc et so you're coming out of that i feel like that's what you're working on the first three quarters of the year page of wands in reversed um this, this could be a lot of things i mean i'm gonna probably wait for the clarifiers on this but i'll just tell you for those of you that aren't going to the vimeo um reading link I have below this could be something that you decided to start and it, and it didn't end up happening okay and usually it doesn't happen because of you missed some details or maybe you know the plan that you set out wasn't as tight as you thought it was um, maybe you overlooked some details uh, so it could be you know something like that and as a result of this happening you're not that excited about it anymore you're you're like oh this isn't gonna happen um, you know why bother for other you others of you you're gonna be dealing with it individually or you're going to be dealing with a child who just you cannot talk to um, and or you can't communicate with them either they don't listen to you or and they do it to be kind of like mean kind of pissy to be stubborn so um, this is someone just you could have problems communicating with uh, October November December we all know that's holiday time so you know it could be just that that black sheep of the family who's just this big pain in the ass um, that you have a hard time relating to but you know I, I'm, I'm kind of torn between is it something that you know didn't work out for you or get off the ground or is this an actual person but we'll figure that out in the clarifying portion so click on the Vimeo link below it'll take you where you need to go um, and then otherwise consider a personal reading check out your 2019 Sun Moon readings that are still in my playlist um, ask me a question on instant go check me out on Facebook Insta like share subscribe and or donate in the link below otherwise adios from Veronica Garnett bye